Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So just a few moments ago, we saw that there was a brand new release of the PS5 FTP server, but this time it is working with WebKit. So big applause already to the team here that's listed in the credits right here for getting this ELF file to work with the PlayStation 5 to give us an FTP server. Currently, what we've been doing is we've been using BD-JB in order to get an FTP server running on our PlayStation 5, but it takes a number of tries. Sometimes it would take me 25, 30 attempts before I could get a working FTP server on my PlayStation 5. Now we can get that much, much easier and really without using a disk. So we're just going to be using the existing WebKit exploit. And so before we go and take a look at this over on our PlayStation 5, there is a send space URL right here, which you will notice that this is just an ELF file. So you'll want to download that if you want to try this out. And then it says, you know, time to dump your game resources. Also, this FTP is permanent. So it's set in the processes and until you shut the PS5 down, it will run. Okay, let's head over to the PlayStation 5 and let's run our kernel exploit and go from there. Okay, so I just recently set up a local host on my computer. So this time it's going to be a little bit easier for me to get to. But I'm going to go up to user guide, user guide again. And this time I don't have to do any sort of the URL redirect or so forth. I do have a video if you want to set up a local host on yours or if you just want to use somebody else's like Echo Stretches. Okay, this time it looks like it worked just perfectly. So I'm going to switch over to my PC and let's go ahead and let's send that L file. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over and start using Netcat GUI by Modded Warfare here. So this is version 1.2. And what you need to put in here at the beginning is going to be the IP address of your PlayStation 5 the port that we need to be running on, and then we need to select that L file that we just downloaded. And there it is, and I'm gonna press OK. And now I just need to press on the Inject Payload button. Okay, and so here is what happened when we injected the payload. Okay, so we got our debug message here which says where the PS5 is listening at and on what port. So let's switch back to the computer and take a look. Okay, so opening up FileZilla here, again, the host is the PS5's IP address. There's no username, there's no password, and then the port is 1337, and there we go. Okay, so that is so much more easier to get to. So now I'll be able to do a little bit more exploring without taking 25, 30 attempts to get the FTP server running using BD-JB. So anyway, very cool stuff. We now have an FTP server that runs on WebKit. So thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!